Welcome to Data Shark Academy. In this lesson, let's take a look at how Apache Scoop works. Apache Scoop is designed to import or export individual tables or even entire databases. When data is transferred from a relational database to Hadoop, it's referred as an import operation. But when data is transferred from Hadoop to relational database, then it is called an export operation in Scoop. We will look into some real-world examples of both kinds of operations later in this course. Apache Scoop examines the table structure from source systems such as Oracle and generates Java classes for it. These Java classes are packaged into a JAR file and deployed on Hadoop cluster to be executed by a MapReduce job. The job is submitted to Hadoop using Scoop's command line tool which also we will learn in this course later. For now, let's examine how Scoop works step by step behind the scene. Let us assume that you have a relational table called employees, which you need to move to Hadoop using Apache Scoop. When you fire the Scoop import command in Scoop CLI, this is what will happen behind the scenes. Step 1. Scoop will pull the table schema details from relational database and some other information about that table and database. Second step, Scoop will generate Java classes using table schema and package them into a jar file. In third step, Scoop will send that jar file to Hadoop's yarn engine, which will allocate some resources for this MapReduce job and will run it in the Hadoop cluster. In fourth step, when MapReduce jobs runs, it will pull the actual data from employees table and store it into text files on SDFS. Step number four is where only Hadoop takes over and Scoop has no interference in this step. After the job is finished, Hadoop will send response back to Scoop CLI to be shown to the user. This is how Scoop works in a nutshell. In next lesson, we will see why Apache Scoop is so important in big data world. I'll see you in the next class.